left the S6 Edge and right the S6 Edge Plus. And as you can see, the screen has got huge from 5.1 to 5.7 inch diagonal. That's huge. And that's all the news already because it's uh, just more space for the screen and for the Edge apps here. If you compare that to the Oops, uh, edge uh, 6 uh, uh, here on the back. Sorry for that. A little bit tricky for me as a righty to get that working here with left and coming from the left. Here we go. Compare this. It's a little bit bigger on the plus, but not that way bigger. You know what I mean? Uh, we're talking about around about 25% more screen area. So this is not that big here on, on the edge screen, but you have now seen this. Same design like S6 Edge and S6, of course, just bigger. And in addition, you should know the battery built fixed in again. You cannot remove that like always, unfortunately, 3000 milliamps now instead of 2600 here. But bigger screen. So we have to check that in the final review, how long the battery really lasts in, in real life. The rest is really identical, same processor, Exynos 7420, again, eight cores, four with uh, 2.1 and four with 1.5 gigahertz. RAM is now on four gigabyte instead of three. And the Samsung has at the moment at least announced two versions only, 32 and 64 gigabyte memory, no 128 gigs, and you remember, no micro SD slot. So I guess you will go to for the 64, I guess. Yeah, of course, it's bigger, the whole phone, 76 by 154 instead of 70 by 142 millimeters, but I find that Okay, for 25% bigger screen, the weight, 153 instead of 132 grams. I do not feel that so much bigger, especially for that huge a screen. So uh, for that kind of schnitzel, kind of a Note 5 without that stylus and these stylus feature, if you may say so. Coming in August in Europe, uh, especially before the Note 5 in some countries. So we have to remind that. And last of all, some words concerning the camera, the multimedia. 16 megapixels, again, optical image stabilizer, but now with a new digital image stabilizer on top. Samsung is calling that the video digital image stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Especially on the front side, you will have that working too, because uh, on the front, you had, do not have that uh, optical image stabilizer. So uh, let's wait for what it brings really. But something is telling us on the front and on the back, photos and videos shall be better. Of course, I tell. Yeah, new features like live upstreaming to YouTube, for example, and audio enhancement, meaning if you push a, a just a regular MP3 file to your phone, uh, this will be upscaled here on the headphone jack uh, to studio quality, as Samsung calling, meaning 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. So I can't wait to hear that for myself on the final review concerning this. That could be great. Big question at the end, of course, what about prices? I do not know. Samsung hasn't announced already. We have to wait for that. Sorry for that. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye.